side of Coach here. Yeah? It's almost game time. If he doesn't get here soon, there won't be time for the pep talk. Don't worry. If he's not here in a few minutes, I'll give the pep talk. You? <laughs> yeah, I've given pep talks before. Remember that one I gave before the Colorado game? Yeah, I remember. Bloody Saturday. <laughs> we didn't lose that badly. Oh, no. That was what we called your pep talk. <laughs> Team Ray? There you are. Where have you been? Driving home all morning trying to call Christine. She didn't call here, did she? No. Man, I can't believe that. She won't even pick up her phone. You know, she's been mad at me before, but I tell you, never like this. And over what? You know, she wanted to go to the art gallery, so I let her go to the art gallery. She didn't want to go alone, so I fixed her up with my best butt. And then to top it all off, I buy her a really a good-sized painting here. And it, now I'm in the doghouse. Jeez. Is that the painting? Huh? Yeah. What would you bring it here for? Well, it cost $3,000. I wanted to leave it in the cabin so somebody could take it. <laughs> Stupid painting. Wow. $3,000? You know, I didn't pay that much to have my whole cabin painted. If you didn't like it, why don't you take it back? Because I'm a head football coach, Dauber. I didn't want him to think I didn't know what I was doing. God, what was I doing? I could have put $3,000 down on a bass boat. I mean, I could have invested in something that lasts a lifetime. I feel like this is all my fault. Oh, come on, take it easy, bud. Don't beat yourself up about this. Just go clean out your desk. Just kidding. I'm not mad at you, Luther. I'm mad at art. You know something? I don't know why Christine's doing this. She's trying to make me squirm. I'll tell you something. Hayden Fox does not squirm. Think I ought to try calling her one more time, maybe? Yeah, then uh, you should talk to the team. They're all waiting. If you don't feel like talking to Tim, I'll, I'll give it a pep talk. You mean the Bloody Saturday speech? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, here we go. It's the answering machine again. Hi. This is Christine Armstrong. I can't come to the phone right now because I'm too busy sitting on my couch driving Hayden Fox crazy. You know something, Coach? I wouldn't worry about it. I bet you'll go out on the field. You'll look up in the bleachers. She'll be sitting right where she usually is. Everything will be okay. Think so? Well, sure. I don't know that much about Christine, but I do know she's nuts about you. That and she's for stricter arms control. <laughs> Come on, you guys, let's go. We got a game to play. Hey, Coach, Coach, uh, one thing about today now. I know you think this is bunk, but I charted Danny's biorhythms, and he's down physically, so you may not get much from him, do yeah, you? Yeah, well, I better get something from him, or I'm going to chew his butt. I wouldn't yell at him either, because he's down emotionally, too. Dover, if he's playing lousy and I don't yell at him, don't you think he's going to wonder why? He'll know why. He's up intellectually. 